Hey guys, this is a tribute video to OP Obs, the Obs community. It was a almost map we used to play in StarCraft 1, and it has lasted over 10 years now. Um, it is one of the longest communities alive, or it's, it's dead now, so this is basically a tribute to the map we used to play in StarCraft 1 for that matter. I am a huge Blizzard fan, and I've always been a StarCraft franchise fan, and I bought this when it first came out. This is the Wings of Liberty StarCraft II Collector's Edition box. So I just want to go ahead and show you that really quick. This is what it comes with, which I will show you in my other video after this one. What I don't tell you is it also comes with a World of Warcraft companion, which is a Thor unit. And then, as far as the Clutcher's Edition goes, compared to the regular StarCraft II CD, is the customized portraits you get. So you also get that. I mainly got it for this bitchin' USB thumb drive, which already has pre-installed StarCraft I and Brood War, because I lost mine. As you can see, it says... Rainer James E on there. This is Jim Rainer's. And then... So yeah. Um, I mainly got it because of this. It's really cool. But I just want to show you the main item that VLE Tech gave me back in my obzine days. mid obzine days. I want to say back in 2003. And I thought this was really cool when he gave it to me. It is a StarCraft 1 mouse pad, as you can see. It says, To My Flying Friends. This is a UMS map we used to play, um, Observer Lovely, and it was a very addicting UMS map. Um, it doesn't matter if you played it for the first time or whatever. I mean, after a few games, you either liked it or you did not. For me, I got addicted the first time I played it because I found it as a challenge. Um, Finding a certain path to get to the very top from the bottom without touching any of those obs without dying was a challenge to me. And, you know, breaking records that the Asians already have set up for us was my main focus back then. Um, I used to love facing the Asians. Uh, we used to have these huge, huge tournaments and nation wars to see if U.S. East was better than Asia. Um, I mainly want to give props to all the players I played with back then. This is a tribute to do. This is dedicated to all the players I played with throughout the years. I just want to say that you know the lack of players that we had on U.S. East um, was one thing that I noticed because Asia had way more Dodgers than we did, and somehow we came up top. Came on came up on top. Um, you know the tournaments that we had. Some of them were very difficult. Um, I've lost, I have even myself, Legendary Vegeta, have lost individual matches before. Um, one of them being Sin Aries. He was an excellent Dodger. Um, and other fellow Asian Dodgers were very hard to compete with. But I just found it fascinating that this game was probably the first one that I can interact with players all across the globe. And being able to play with the Asians was was fun, fun as hell. Um, so this is once again I'll be uploading StarCraft One Obs Dodge videos, and this is a tribute to Obs Dodge and the OP Obs community. OP Obs for life, and this is dedicated to all the players I played with throughout the years. Peace.
So this is an old replay I would like to show. It's a Corsair Dodge, unique Dodge by myself. And it was an old replay with Court Vision and Dizzy. Um, as you know, Dizzy passed away and this is just a tribute to him. <laughs> and this is comment and Court Vision's comment after I did this unique Dodge. I thought it was hilarious, so. I'll show it to you really quick. Watch closely, watch red. BAM! This is comment. Right now. <laughs> nice. 